Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria's Miscellany, where this is a post-auction video. Um, hubby's finishing up getting ready to go fishing, and I, uh, as we were putting books away in the garage, because, you know, I won't be able to weigh and all that stuff until later tonight when we get back, or maybe even into tomorrow, but anyway, <laughs> I'm already starting to ramble, right? Um, so as we were putting stuff away, I noticed some books that were like behind the boxes that I hadn't noticed um, that I meant to auction and I didn't. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to try a silent auction because I am not going to be able to have another auction for at least two weeks. Next week, we're going to Orlando and the following week after that, and it's, it's Father's Day, I believe, and the week after that, I am... I really don't know what's going to be going on. I don't know if I'll be able to do another auction. I mean, these have been so much fun, but uh, I really want to take some time to, um, after I get these uh, books out, I actually go through my garage and start cleaning up because it is really bad. Um, and I'm going to have to purchase some other things and then maybe I'll do another auction with other things other than books because I do have a lot of crafty things going on. So anyway, um, already rambling after a, over a minute. So let me show you. Remember I showed you these in the preview? I am so sorry, guys, if you came to the auction and nobody mentioned, oh, where are the garden books? At least, uh, not that I could remember, but I, these didn't get auctioned off. And um, I thought that these were some that would really be something people would want because I love these books. Um... It looks like I already tore off a page off of this one, so maybe I won't do this one. Um, okay, you know what? I already tore off a page off of that one, so um, tell you what. If you're interested in it as is, um, I don't think I took tore anymore. This is what I was thinking of doing. Um, silent auction, okay? So I'm going to show these books here, and I'm just going to number them. And I'll look back at my video to see what I numbered them. If you're interested in any of these, go ahead and email me. I'll put my email in the description. Email me your bid. And the highest bid will get it. Of course, I'll have to add shipping to that. Um, I mean, if you only bid a dollar and other people bid more, is, you know... But if you've done silent auctions before, you know you know what I mean. Just email me your bid, and then the highest bid that gets emailed to me will get it. I'll just add the shipping. Now, if two people happen to bid the same amount, I will go by the timestamp on my email. So whoever sent it first, okay? So um, I'm going to go really quick. Probably won't have time to put too many on this video because um, hubby will be ready soon. So is this annual's Time Life Encyclopedia of Gardening? I wanted to do a glue book with this because it's lovely cover. And it's really big and the pictures in here are beautiful. But like I said, I tore one page off of here. And uh, look at those ready-made tags all throughout this book. And then some beautiful pictures too. And I'm flipping really quickly so you get an idea. There you go. So we'll do that. Okay, so this will be number one. It is the Time Life Annuals book. And, I've, and I had already torn a page out of it, but I don't think I used, you know... Uh, I took anything else. I think I just tore that out. I was going to use it and I did, never did. You know what? If you're okay with it like that, you know, send me a bid. And I'll send you the, uh, the your total with the uh, shipping. So there's that one. That's number one. Then there's the flowering shrubs one. And this is the cover. This is the back. And it also has beautiful pages. At one time they were sold for a dollar. Or I don't know if that's what I paid for them. I don't remember now. But anyway, uh, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, there's some writing. It's been, stuff has been circled and highlighted. But if you're looking at it to cut it up, look at that. Look how beautiful these images are in here. Okay? And then there's pictures. So this one is Flowering Shrubs. This is number two. 
so you would send me your bid saying number two and how much you want to bid on it. Is that sticky? Is there sticky on that page there? I don't know. But again, these are to cut up, you know. I mean, the spines are, the spine on this one's really bad. Flowering shrubs. But, you know, you could cut the covers off and give it a new spine and make a lovely glue book as well. So, tell me about that. Now, these, I didn't get to auction off either. I can't believe it. Um, there's the Better Homes and Gardens Decorating Book. I sold one of the cookbooks like this, but this is the decorating book. So it's same idea, like the it's a five ring binder, but instead of having a cookbook in here, it's got this plastic thing here. It is about decorating, and the copyright on this one is seventy five. Look at those pictures. Um, and the tabs, this is in pretty good shape. It's got a lot of good aging on it. But this is what it looks like. The tabs have beautiful pictures on the inside. Not on this side, but on here. Um, for home decor stuff. Really cute. And it looks like the rest of it in here is just writing. Oh, there's some pictures in there too. Okay. Again, I'm not flipping through every page. So, just so you get the idea. And again, if you like it, email me your best best price that you think this is worth if it's a dollar and nobody else is interested then you get it for a dollar but if you're you think it's worth more then you know let me know there's some really cute if, especially if you like this old the 70s that the core <laughs> lots of these pictures and the pages are thin you know kind of like that cookbook so that is the better homes and garden um the core I really like these, um, what do you call it, the tabs from the inside there, is the decorating book. The Better Homes and Garden Decorating Book from 1975 is that one. That's number three, okay, number three. Then along the same lines, I can't believe I'm letting this go because it's like, ugh, I love it. I'm hoping I'll find it again sometime when I have room, but it's going. The sewing book, okay. The Better Homes and Garden Sewing Book. Look at the lovely cover on this. You don't have to cover it. The cover is in excellent shape. If you wanted to make a journal out of it, just leave it like that. Inside is very clean too, and this one's from 1977. It's got this plastic sheet here. And then these, there's not a lot of, um, so there's a lot of this little pattern things going on in here. Let's see about pictures. A lot of black and white pictures. I think the cover is worth it. And let's see what we have. Yep, a lot of patterns, drawings. I don't see a lot of photo or colorful pictures other than the beautiful cover. Okay. So this will be number four. The sewing book. Oh, look, at that's really cool. Those are like cool, cool paper doll-like things. Okay. Yeah, it's all just pretty much like uh, pattern drawings. Tailoring coats, measuring, children. These are cute little, again, like paper dolls. Look at those cute little girls. So there's some drawings. Okay. Like that. Using patterns creatively. Nice. And did I give you the year? This is 77. This one is really nice shape. I really, really like. Oh, and look at that. It had been given to somebody in 1984. And it even has a birthday card in here. I'm going to leave it. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to leave the. It's kind of stuck on here with like the tape. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> All right. So that's number four. Okay. That The sewing book. It's number four. And uh, let's see what else was in here that I didn't get to list. Oh, oh yeah, this one I showed in the um, I showed in the what do you call it at the auction, but we we didn't get around to auctioning it off. It's Betty Crocker's Parties for Children, and I don't know the date. I couldn't find the date, but it sold for two ninety five originally. It says so there. 
Yes, that's Betty Crocker's picture. And it is adorable, this book. It's got beautiful colors. I, I also confess that I had taken one page out of this book already. And I don't know where it is, like where, where it was taken from. But it has cute ideas for children's parties. It's got beautiful drawings. Some of them are like just one color. But there's also more colorful ones in here. And look at that. Look at this. Isn't that cute? Look at that. And I think there was a big clown in here too. Look at these. Love that. Look at that little family picture there. Hey, man. Look at those butterflies. So this is an adorable. Look at all this color right here. This is an adorable little book. And the pages are... are Kind of magazine, like a thick magazine type, cute, cute, like a thicker magazine type quality. Look at those. That's such a beautiful image. Musical chairs. So yeah, there's like some of these single color images and there's some colorful images as well. Look at that, how cute. So I, I really think this book is worth at least a couple bucks, but... Again, if you email me and you think it's only worth a dollar and you're the only one to email me about the book, you'll get it. Beautiful. There's that clown. <laughs> uh -huh. So, again, there's one page missing out of this book. I don't remember what page it is. But I'm pretty sure I took a page out of here. And But this is all you get still, everything you're looking at. I'm not going to take any more pages out, okay? <laughs> Look at that cat. Isn't he cute? So I believe this is number five. So two flower books with two better homes. Yeah, this is number five. Betty Crocker's Parties for Children. Okay, that's what it looks like. It's bound kind of weird with this ring binding, but then the cover is around it and it's hardcover. Look at that, how pretty. Okay, that's number five. And I thought I had another one. Oh, yes, here's number six. I meant to bring this out, but I think this is a cute one. I think this is worth at least a dollar. Um, Donna Parker, A Spring to Remember. Um, the spine is uh, getting really weak there. It's not broken, but it's cracked there. Um, it, but it's, it's a little, I think, young adult fiction book. And I love the cover and the end papers. Okay. And the aging on these pages is yummy it's well aged and it's got some cute uh drawings in here with just a, a hint of color like that um let's see look at that how cute is that so this is number six two yep yeah, this is number six if you're interested email me and i will put on the description or on the sub on the look at that how cute is that in the subject, the deadline for, um, like, I like that. Is it torn? No, it's not torn. I mean, it's still pretty well together, but it's weakening, you know? It's, I mean, I would have taken this apart. Get cute. But I didn't get around to it, so if somebody bids on it, you can have it. Donna Parker, A Spring to Remember. It's really cute. And that is book number six. Um, so I'm going to need to maybe one or two more in here. What was this one? Oh, yeah. Tom Brown School Days. This will probably be the last one. I think I hear my husband coming. This is an old one. So, David, if you're watching, you might want this one. This was, I think, 1800s. It doesn't have a lot of colorful images. I think that's about it. Copyright 1911. So, it's 1911. And it has some illustrations like this. I don't think there are any color illustrations. But the, the thing I like about this one is that it's a masculine book. It's got masculine illustrations. Look, a boy in a tree. <laughs> and um, the pages, again, are nicely aged. See a couple of boys there. So this is number seven, Tom Brown's School Days. All right, so I hear my husband coming down the stairs. Oh, there is one color picture there. There might be a couple more. Hi. So, okay, I'm coming. You said you were saying turn the bedroom. I did. Oh, like. Oh. 
Come on. Let me finish. Okay. So, sorry about that. And I have this straight on YouTube, so I can't edit it. <laughs> sorry. All right. So, Tom Brown will be the seventh book. Okay. So, number seven, if you want to bid on that. All right, I got to get going, and um, some of these other books didn't sell either because we didn't get around to it or there was no interest, um, so I'll have to figure out if I'm going to do a another silent auction for these later on this week, or if, I don't know, or what I'm going to do with them, because I really don't want to just donate them back, but it might end up happening. <laughs> All right, YouTube friends, thank you so much for uh, joining me, for your support, um, and have a blessed day. Bye.